Hello there, my name's Tom. I am a placements advisor in the careers service and I'm joined today by Emma to hear about her experiences out on placement last year. Would you like to introduce yourself, Emma? Hi, uh, I'm Emma. I do maths at university and I did a placement year between my second and third year um, in financial controlling at Fosia. Great. Um, we'll get right to it. So, um, why did you decide to do a placement and what made you decide to do a placement in Newcastle specifically? So um, the main reason I wanted to do a placement was to get some industry experience in order to stand out more from other students who were graduating. Um, I decided to stay in Newcastle because I was worried that I wouldn't get a placement. Um, so I wanted to sort out housing. So I stayed with my friends from uni first um, and then just applied to places around Newcastle, which there was quite a lot of. So that wasn't too much of a problem. Great, so you, you'd already signed for your house, you'd lived with your friends from from the previous year and then you sorted your house, that's when you started looking around for placements in the local area. Yeah, yeah. And uh, did you find there was there was plenty of opportunities? Yeah, there's more than I thought um, and because I have a car, like I looked at areas surrounding Newcastle as well, which was quite a lot of. Great. Um, brilliant. So what was your sort of your, your searching process? what you were going to do, how many applications did you do and all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So I went to the um, careers fair first and um, spoke to a lot of different companies there to like find out what areas I think I'd be interested in um, and then I used the careers vacancy page to um, find openings on there. Um, I applied to about 15 companies, um, 15 to 20 and um, I mostly had to apply like in the evenings and at the weekends uh, like to fit it around my degree. Um, or possibly like over Christmas was quite useful. Yeah, because I know specifically for maths, it's really you've got quite a heavy timetable, haven't you? So how did you find balancing um, like sort of all the uni work that you had to do and ap application processes? Because obviously 15 to 20, that's a lot of applications that you've done there. So could you just mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about how you how you manage those two things? Yeah, so I mostly applied when we didn't have many deadlines. So more towards the start of the year I'll try and do it in the evenings after uni um, and then a lot of it I had to end up doing over Christmas because um, it was a, obviously a lot less pressure then I could focus a lot more time on doing that so I found that was a lot easier. So you got your uni work done in sort of through the day whilst you were, whilst you were in uni and then you used sort of your free time in the evenings and any kind of breaks in the terms such as Christmas etc to really focus <laughs> on the applications. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Great. Right. And um, so you said you'd use the careers service. How did they help you um, decide what you wanted to do? And then once you've done that, how did you then sort of um, use the service for support throughout your search as well? So firstly, um, because I wasn't really sure what um, role to go into, um, I spoke to an advisor about that and they gave me a booklet. So I basically talked about the skills um, that I enjoyed, um, what I thought I'd want in a role and what I wouldn't like. Um, and from that, they helped me like narrow it down a bit more to certain areas and then I researched them a bit more. Um, and then I used them a lot whilst I was applying. So I got them to check my CV um, and I found it most like useful to have video interview practices with them or just like interview practices because they knew the sort of questions that would come up. So that was really helpful to actually talk through my about with someone. Brilliant, that's great. Um, how did you find your placement in the end? Um, mine was, it was through the vacancies page um, that I found for each year um, and I applied to them I think it was just before Christmas and then got the offer in about February time. Okay so it's because th there is a little bit of people panic and think you, you have to get your placement in September, October time yeah. and then nothing left beyond that but it's absolutely not the case is it you know you had some Christmas and and you know that beyond Christmas as well there's there's people advertising um, especially in the local area. Yeah definitely. Great so um, so you got your placement at Fasia uh, which was great well done. Um, what kind of work did you do and to what extent did you draw on knowledge and skills from your maths degree? Um, so my role mostly involved um, like analysing the plant's data and comparing this to the monthly forecast and um, did like KPI monitoring and tracking things like capital expenditure 
um, I didn't really use anything that I'd learned on my degree but the soft skills that I got from my degree like problem solving and analytical skills were definitely really helpful. Great and is that what you were expecting? Was that the kind of work that you were expecting? Yeah I wasn't really sure what to expect because I hadn't done like finance really before. I wasn't really surprised I would use the theories that, from my degree. Okay great. Um, what was the most challenging part of your placement and how did you adapt to it? Um, the most challenging was um, coming from a non-financial background and not really understanding any of the terminology that was used but I found that my manager was really understanding of this and he'd always like explain things to me in more detail and everyone there was always really helpful and like willing to answer any questions I had. So. I think that's the thing is you know that they've these people have recruited you knowing what you know so you know you you got that role um, the recruiters knew that you didn't have a financial background. Mm -hmm. That's obviously not the problem, like not, not a problem. They yeah. want with the skills because you can learn that side of things. So that's a really important thing, I think, to, to stress to people is that, you know, you are recruited, you're recruited by these people on the knowledge, uh, that, on the knowledge of what you have and what skills you have um, and you're there on merit. So it's, yeah, really important thing to stress, I think. Um, what was the best thing about your placement? One of the best things for me was the people that I got to meet on my placement. So there were six other students that were also at the same site as me and we got on really well. So it was nice like going through placement with them and then also being able to do stuff with them outside of work as well. Yeah, so the, the network kind of that, you, that you've built mm -hmm. up. Yeah, yeah. Part of it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, you probably miss them, will you, when you come back to, come back to uni? Yeah, well, a lot of them also go to Newcastle or Northumbria, so I still I can still see them this year, which is good. Well, that's yeah, smash it. Um, so, what are your plans for when you graduate, and has your placement helped you in that regard? Um, so, my plan is to get a, on a graduate program after uni um, with the leading firm. My placement's definitely helped with the application process because I feel a lot more confident now whilst I'm applying. Um, Although I've decided like through doing this placement that I don't want to go into finance and um, I've learned that I'd be more interested in things like data analytics or actuarial work due to the aspects that I enjoyed the most on the role. So it's been helpful in that sense. That's really interesting. So you've the placement kind of the, the primary role, if you like, the financial side of it, it's actually ruled that out for you as a career, <laughs> you think? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Brilliant. And but then the other side of it that you are interested in that you've just mentioned, the actuarials, um, that's was that from experience on your placement as well? Yeah, it was just through like evaluating what I actually enjoyed doing on the role. So like analysing data and looking at trends and things was more the aspect I enjoyed than the, the other parts of the role. Great. So why would you recommend to students from your schools, uh, math, stats and physics, why would you recommend students from your school do a placement? I'd really recommend it because it's going to really help you stand out a lot to all the other students that are also graduating with the same degree as you. Um, it'll also help you decide what career path to go down, so you'll either find you enjoy the role that you're doing or um, it might give you some exposure to other roles that you weren't necessarily aware of before doing the placement. Brilliant. Top three tips for students who are considering doing a placement. Um, firstly, I'd say um, if you're unsure what role to go into, um, I'd really suggest reaching out to people on LinkedIn. So um, you can search for people in that industry and message them about any questions you have, because that will really give you more of an insight into if it's something you'd enjoy. Um, I'd say apply as early as you can, because you're going to have less deadlines at the start of the year. Um, and a lot of places do close earlier like if you want interested in the bigger firms um, and then finally I'd say um, like I can't what I was gonna say. <laughs> I'd say use the career service site as much as you can um, throughout the whole application process because that will really help with any interviews that you have or anything like that. Brilliant thank you very much Emma it sounds like you had a great placement and it's really helped you think about how you're going to go, uh, approach your graduate job search this year so that that's great. Um, if you are interested in finding out more about doing a placement please visit our website um, I'll post a link at the bottom www.ncl.ac.uk forward slash careers 
Um, but in the meantime, thank you very much, Emma, and best of luck in your final year. Thank you very much.